How you doing? My name is Blake Farber. I play guitar in the band Old York. Right next to me is Ted Wolfson. He's the singer. Over there is my brother Devin Farber, right here, and he's the drummer. And then kneeling on the, you can barely see him. He, Mike Kaufman is the bass player down there. He's somewhere down there. So um, they're they're kind of visible today. So ah, but I'm here. That's that's all that counts. Old Dirk started about uh, maybe 2005, 2006. Uh, we're a New York hardcore band, which is kind of based from punk and, and such like that. We started as being more like the old school 80s style New York hardcore sound and everything. And, and we kind of progressed, naturally progressed, into our second album, Shallow World, which has more of little 90s roots. And as the band's developing, so does everything else. So does your sound, so does everything. So we have two full lengths out. The first one, Empire State, from Countdown Records in Italy. And the second one is Shallow World. That one was released by WTF Records in Netherlands. So from there, we did Seven Inches Before, and we're doing a vinyl for Empire State by Spook Records. We toured Europe in 2009, then we toured Europe again. Both the winter, two winter tours. I don't know why just winter, because that's the only time we have off, which was freezing, especially in Poland. <laughs> One of our highlights of being in the band was uh, playing that <clears throat> the Persistence Tour, where we opened for uh, it was Hatebreed, Agnostic Front, H2O, some other bands, and played from like almost like 2,000 people, and that was that was great. And then from there, a good friend of ours, uh, Uzi from the band Aggressive Dogs, has been in Japan for years. They literally flew us out there and did a whole tour there, and we toured Japan. That was a great experience. That was we have a lot of great memories from that. It was crazy. We're going on our third European tour, June, June 4th to June 17th, I think those are dates. Uh, we're doing basically the same kind of tour. This one's on Stronger Booking from Netherlands. And, uh, and personally, the band has been slowing down a bit. We haven't played New York City much, which is kind of sad because I've been traveling, so I'm not really home a lot of times. Mike, the bass player who's down there. Hey, Mike. Uh, him and I are going to slowly work on just a four song, seven inch. Just something different. We have two songs basically quasi finished. So uh, we're going to take our time to do it. You know, it's better to take our time to make quality stuff than rush in to do something, something else. No, we're busy. We're busy. We have all the things. This is from our first European tour. It's a little torn up because I think I tore it from like some some wall, or like the Berlin Wall or something like that. This is from the first album before this tour. This is the release of that. And then Down Nya is from the the last European tour, which is the cover of the Shallow World album. And right here, that's my underwear. But this is our. This was a European shirt came out. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, and then this was our tour date. So there we go. Uh, tour this is from our Japan tour with the aggressive dogs. Our friend Uzi and his friend Wolf. Uh, there's me. Wow. And then right here is our tour. This is a short tour. This is our friend David. He lives in Japan. This is our friend Scam Dust. And this tour is officially no Scam Dust and no David allowed. This was our persistence tour pass. Okay. This is. I did this like commercial kind of thing where they released this thing that never went anywhere called Bagel Folds. It was just bread, like a bagel, but already filled. So it's easier to consume, but it's not, and it didn't do well. So where are you now, Bagel Full? This is called the Woodstock of Hardcore, 2006, where the owner was actually, the person who did the show, used a fake MySpace profile to not reveal who she actually was. She was an attractive girl, and she fucked up how many bands were on this thing? How many? Uh, let's say uh, two, 200 bands. She fucked up all of them and screwed us all up. Everything, she booked all these bands, all these things happened. It was just such a mess. So that show never happened. So that was the best part, except we did another thing called 
at the shore, we played the Jersey Shore with almost all the same bands. It was crazy.